Hey ladies and gents, welcome back to another video with your host Spoonie Pizzas. Today I'm going to be reviewing eFootball 2023. We're going to be moving into eFootball 2024, so I have certainly want to get some game time back because I've been away pretty much for like three or four months before I've played this game. I want to see what's changed, if there's any improvements, if it still plays the same, and I'm just going to give you my thoughts and reaction so i'm going to basically pick out issues that i have with the game you know things that they need to look at in order to progress the game in my point of view so one of the first things i'm going to get, sort of going to cover off is the barges from behind causing your player to stumble and lose the ball you know at the minute this game feels like it's a no contact sport like you have to pass the ball before you receive it if there's a certainly if there's a player nearby coming into the back of you often that will not result in a free kick your player will stumble and they'll get the ball you know i know there is a shielding button that does not work very well which i'm going to cover off in a bit i just think that needs to they need to rework the shielding entirely in my opinion it's it makes for a very jarring and weird experience when you sort of start enabling that like i said these barges from the player but from behind is causing your player to lose the ball and like i said it just turns into a no no contact sport i had literally Lewandowski get the ball back to goal guy comes in straight from behind doesn't touch the ball runs into my player my player stumbles he gets the ball and takes it away they they've got to fix that they've got to fix that the flow of the game is also very poor the way players literally sprint back into position like they've got no stamina issues and i think that's a problem with they've sort of copied fifa in that regard the way fifa players like they will just get back behind the ball and that's for the online play side of things but it doesn't make for a realistic looking simulation in my opinion next up is the cpu ai difficulty covered it in a recent video it's far too easy even on legend difficulty you shouldn't be able to beat anyone nine now and to beat legend difficulty is far too frequent and too easy especially i've not played the game in like three or four months i come back and i win nine now you know I've, I've, i'm rusty i haven't touched the controller in three to four months let alone play a football game for three to four months so to beat uh legendary ai 9-0 is absolutely ridiculous. Like I want, just want to touch on that shielding though. The shielding is absolutely rubbish. I mean it just causes more harm than it does good. There's the disconnect with the player and the ball. Sometimes you use it and your player like just stops on the spot and the other player, the opponent just runs around. I mean you should be able to hold it and still make your player move. You should, your, your player should contextually protect the ball from the player trying to get the ball from you but in this game it, it's just it's just very weird it, your player will literally just stop on the spot and be like oh i'm gonna i'm gonna shield the ball but i'm just gonna let the ball run ahead and let someone else take it off you i, I just think it just needs a lot of work for me one of the big regrets about this game is the goals they just feel lifeless when i score i don't feel oh that was a great goal i mean i don't know if anyone feels the same way but i just don't feel you just don't get this feeling of like, oh, that's a great goal. I'm just like, I don't know if it's the Nets or the goalkeepers, which I'm going to cover off in a bit as well. I really don't know what it is. Next up is the lack of animations. You know, all the players run, walk, pass, and shoot the same. There is a severe lack of animations. Yeah, sure, they might look different in terms of their faces and stuff, but the way they move and run and pass the ball, it all looks very, very similar. And to be honest, whether you're right foot, left foot it doesn't really seem to make that much difference to be honest only when you cross and shoot the ball when it comes to passing it very you know i very rarely feel like it doesn't make much difference and the only time it does make a difference is if you have those layer lower tier teams but if you've got like a hundred for like all these hundred rated players which most people probably have by now you know the game's been out a while it it just makes for a very ping pongy passing because you have to, you don't have to look and think about oh is my player on with the right foot and that goes for shooting as well sometimes i'll just be like oh, i don't care if it's left right left foot or right foot chances are it's going to go in and sometimes you can be on the player's stronger foot and he shoots with the weaker foot or passes with the weaker foot i'm just like bro i literally turned so you would actually use your stronger foot and you're using your weak foot for some unknown reason you're bending it inwards instead of out and around the goalkeeper things like that is just very very frustrating the lack of animations in terms of a goalkeeper so we've covered the players, but the goalkeepers, like I said, the animations just feel canned. There seems to be so few animations for goalkeepers, and they really need to work on that. Honestly, the, the way they save the ball. When you get to like a one-on-one, -on -one, sometimes the goalkeeper will just sit on his six-yard box. I'm just like, why don't you come out? Why don't you spread his arms and his legs or whatever? And you know how goalkeepers like try to make themselves big? Do you ever see that in, in eFootball? No, you don't. There's a, certainly a degree of lack of shot variety. 
Yes, you got dipping shot, rising shot, knuckle shot, etc. But in terms of the way they actually kick the ball, it is almost identical every single time, unless they kick it with the outside of the foot. But honestly, it doesn't matter who you've got, they all kick the ball in the same way. Again, it comes down to a lack of animations, and in my opinion, just makes it look pretty boring. Players freezing or giving up and stuck in these canned animations, and you can't even move the player when, even when they're selected. So what happens is, is sometimes the player will bounce off another player or your player will freeze for a loose ball for some unknown reason. But they get in this animation, right? So if you, you get knocked, you have to wait like a second or two before you can even pick up the player. You're like, yeah, okay, you're taking that stumble animation a little bit too far. I think they need to iron those out, cut them a little bit shorter so you don't feel like you're out of the game i mean if, if that's if he's locked into an animation give me someone closer because he's just stumbled about two meters away now from the player with the ball give me give me another player i shouldn't have to select another player if he's going to be locked in this animation going away from the ball like i said about the ping pong passes um especially for the 108 squads is another bugbear of mine you know it just seems very arcade like you don't have to think about the game too much um yeah and i think the player stats are so elevated anyway and it takes it beyond realism making it far more arcade like gameplay where there's very little pass error and players are just so quick on the ball and they're just dribbling like absolute demons whereas when you play with the lesser squads uh, then i start to feel like okay there's a bit of difference between the players but when they're all like 100 rated what's the point i mean you know mason mount feels the same as ronaldinho you know and it's like what <laughs> players sort of unaware of their position on the pitch you know, needlessly knocking the ball out for a throw as a classic or a corner or a goal kick. I mean, that is just absolutely classic. Like, you get you get a player running towards the ball, the ball is, like, running out for a goal kick, and then your player will needlessly touch it, unless you use Super Cancel. And not all, you know, newcomers to this game are going to know what Super Cancel is. So your player just runs into the ball, knocks the ball out, out, of, the, uh, out of play, and there you are. You also get goalkeepers bouncing into def defenders as well leaving an open goal i mean sometimes like your defenders obviously locked into these animations where they touch the ball and there's nothing you can do you you can see what's going to happen you see the goalkeeper coming out you see the defender going towards the goalkeeper you're like okay well i need to move my player out of the way there's nothing you can do he's locked in that you can't super cancel it or anything and literally the player and the defender collide and the striker says thank you very much and taps it into the MD net. As for referees, are they even in this game? Like I said, sometimes the tackles from behind, you, there's no foul, there's no no calls for those fouls. Sometimes there is, it's so inconsistent. Um, and I, I just don't know what they're doing with the refs in this game. The other annoying part is tackling the tackler. I talk about this a lot. So this is where you win the ball cleanly off a striker. And then he tackles you back in that same instance. Gets the ball, goes up the other end and scores and you're like hold on a second wait a minute i did this perfect tackle stopped him in his tracks i've got the ball but he's recovered so quickly he's then tackled me i'm stuck in this long animation which he wasn't stuck in and he's been able to run through on goal and score so that's the gameplay the 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 sort of bugbears that i have for the gameplay right now i just want to cover for graphics i mean they are very very average for today's standards all the games are pretty much at night um the volumetric lighting is pretty poor if non-existent certainly in the light games anyway um the pitch yeah pitches don't look great at all do they i mean you compare it to pez 21 or football life i mean the pitches there look absolutely incredible with the virtual red mod they look absolutely stunning but here they just look dull flat boring the crowd is pretty terrible as well it has improved since the the very early days but the crowd certainly still needs a lot of work. When you compare it to FIFA and the liveliness and the atmosphere, and talking about atmosphere, you know, let's talk about the uh, the audio in eFootball. The atmosphere is dead. Honestly, it's like this annoying buzzing sound in the back after a while. And there's sometimes where there's no sound at all after scoring. I mean, I have to show you this. It's absolutely ridiculous. Then we have ball kicks and passes. You know, how, how does how does it sound when the player kicks the ball or passes the ball? It, the sound is just very, very poor in general. Whether it hits the post, they need to really rework and work on the sound to make it a lively atmosphere that you can actually feel. With the, 
the lack of content, you know, with regurgitated players with slight differences to the stats. And to be honest, even when you look at these players, and that is a, like a, one of the things that I really do love about this game, the dream team aspect. But the sad part is when you get those players on the pitch, they don't feel much different to anyone else. They all feel much the same because they've all got around the same stats. You, all, you build the player in the same way. Obviously, massive one for a lot of players, the lack of a master league. I mean, they got increase the difficulty for us for sure but the lack of a mass league is really hurting this franchise from you know existing players i understand like barry says there's a there's a new wave of players it's fo online focus it's competitive focus but let's be real you know it's still a large chunk of the player base i did a, i think i saw a survey once like how many people played mass league from the pen series it was like 65 percent, 65 percent. so i think the the inclusion of mass league makes sense it will come i'm sure but it's not here right now. The lack of tactical options, just five options, possession, long ball counter, quick counter, out wide and long ball. There's nothing you can do to sort of adjust any of those um, sort of tactics other than apply individual instructions. So there's, you know, you can't tell how far you want the players, how deep, deep you want your defense, how compact you want your defense like you have been able to in the past, then apply the, obviously the, the advanced instructions on top of that. But in this game, you know, you're, you're just stuck with those with the individual instructions. To make matters worse, as a possession type player, I find that possession feels totally broken. You come short for the ball, tick attacker style, you know, knock the ball around. But again, you should have more options to be able to set the distance between the players, um, supporting how often and the frequency they come short, etc. How often you want to mix it up. I just want to conclude. So all my thoughts, like with all those frustrations, I think the the saddest part about this game is there. For me, there is no feeling. I feel dead when I play this game. I feel nothing. I don't feel anything when I score. The only thing I I get out of this is getting the coins and being able to buy another player. It's, it becomes basically like a card selection game, you know. And that's where I get my enjoyment to see who I who I randomly pick and then I'm like yeah I got this player and then I'll put him, by, put him on the pitch I'm like oh my god this game is poor this game is so bad it just it's just soulless I think that's the best way I could describe this game it's soulless there's no like I said there's no good feeling about playing this game or scoring online it just feels like it's relief when I win I'm not excited at all yeah it's, it's just it's just in a place where I'm not really happy with the game right now and I think describing it as soulless and boring is probably the best way I could describe it. It's not in a place where I look forward to actually turning this game on to play it. The only thing I can look forward to is doing the challenges just to get those extra coins to buy a player. But the online and the actual nitty gritty of this game is not good enough. The gameplay is damn pretty awful if I'm being brutally honest. It's very, very boring and it's not a football game that is deserving of being called Pez. So thankfully it is called eFootball. So there is my view let me know what you think of eFootball 2023. Let me know your thoughts on eFootball 2024. I'm going to give you my um, impressions perhaps in the future of what I expect from eFootball 2024. But you will get my review of eFootball 2024 when it drops. We'll see if they've addressed some of these issues that I've mentioned. I doubt it. Uh, the way they've changed the way the, the game gets developed now. You don't get just like one big release. They're continually updating the gameplay. But those gameplay changes are very minimal. They seem very minimal. They need to make bigger changes. And hopefully, you know, they might stumble across this video and, and rectify some of the things I'm talking about. Anyway, that's pretty much it for me, ladies and gents. Thank you, everyone, for joining me. Hopefully, you found this video good and useful. And if you did, don't forget to smash the like button. Share it with everyone. You know, we'll get this we'll get this feedback back to Konami and hopefully they're listening. Anyway, thank you everyone and goodbye.